بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so once again uh, again interval uh, this bell section is over we discuss what is expense what is the meaning of expense as well as what is the meaning of this item right after this let us go for the credit credit is used for the part for the purpose of purchase return so if you remember in the previous video we discussed regarding purchase and we purchased something from one of our uh, supplier by the name of Mama Sadek uh, let us say we purchased the items and we received the items and we found that some of the items are not as per our requirement or uh, the products are damaged or they are not as per the sample so we have to return them back or that is or the amount is extra because of any reason you can return the good back to the supplier right but there should be a logical reason for that otherwise you will suffer let us say Previously, we purchased from one of our supplier and some of the items are not as per our requirement and we want to return it back. So now the first question is that to whom you want to return? Let us say previously I purchased from Mahmoud Sadiq and some of the items are not as per requirement so I have to send it back. So which date you want to return? So mention the date and mention the reference number. So let us say this is the reference number of 444, right? Now the QuickBook asks you what you have returned, right? So let us say previously I purchased keyboard as well as I have purchased motherboard and keyboard, like say. So how many items you have returned? Let us say I have returned 20 of this one and as well as 30 of this one. So I have returned two items with this amount, right? So the total amount of this two become equal to amount of 801 and 3 of the next one. Total amount become equal to how much? Amount of 1300. So in this way, in this way, you can return back to the, uh, to the suppliers. Even also, you can do this one as well. You can select the consumer. So which customer return you back? If you remember in the previous video, we said you purchase from the vendors and directly charge to the customer. If customer return to you, you can return it back to the supplier. You can here you can select the customer as well. Which customer return for you? Let us say the keyboards are returned by Mariam. Whether it is available or not. If it is available, you can select the available. Otherwise, you can leave this section. Uh, so in this way, the purchase return can be created. Click on the credit. So mention to whom you want to return it back. On which date. Give a reference number and give the amount or otherwise the amount will be selected based on this information let us say i have returned some one some more items uh, so let us say mouse i have returned five mouths as well now the total increase to equal to 1150 or hello 150 in this way you can create the purchase return with the quickbook recalculation do the same thing clear split also do the same thing if you collect on this one so all these items will get removed so save and close, right?